So, Reggie, as you're sitting here, yeah. well, okay, um, are you experiencing now there's an absence of personality or, you know, are you experiencing self? I am the self. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I am the self. This is not a, a clever technique. <laughs> it's not a psychological technique and I'm better at it than you. <laughs> Just that doubt has been gone. It's gone. Whatever you call personality, I understand the language what we're speaking. I know what is being referred to. But when searched for, it cannot be found. Except as a thought. A persisting thought. You see, An idea. Of course, there are some lingering of some conditioning, which is still somehow maybe in the body. You know, if you like a certain type of food or like to go, it may still on the surface it's superficial. I don't give any importance to this thing. It's not. It's nothing. And so it doesn't register. It doesn't have any pulling power. It has no authority, no commanding force. Here. It's nothing at all. You seem to believe these things are something. So then they have a, they have a kind of authority. You listen to it, you know. You believe uh, that you are who we are told we are. So it's just reconditioning then? Uh, no, no. Don't change one set of conditioning for another set of conditioning. The self is not a conditioning. It's completely without conditioning. I, I feel like myself yes. and then this this whatever you want to call it ego mind perception yeah. and I okay. okay you say this is yourself and this is your ego mind conditioning yeah. and what is watching both of them no this one is watching both of them yeah. okay and you are which part which one of them are you now well, I am the self and I am the self and I have you know, mind as well. Yes. Okay. So you say you are you are the you are the self, but you have mind. You don't say I'm I'm mind and I have the self. You say I am the self, and an aspect of myself is the mind, which I can observe. I am observing mind as thought, as feeling. And all of this I can observe. What I can observe, I cannot say, is quintessentially what I am. You can say it's connected somehow, but it's not the greater. You see. This I hope you listen. I am not giving you any great myst mystical, metaphysical <laughs> absurdities. Very simple thing. Very simple thing. Children sometimes they see it. Hmm? Even animals. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Muji. No, don't go yet. We have a, where I'm living now, we have a, a donkey. Uh, her name I call Vibhuti. And she absolutely loves satsang. <laughs> eh? Even now, if we are broadcasting or something, uh, right there she'll be in front of the computer watching. Last time I was in um, po Poland, uh, she watched every satsang. Everybody else is watching satsang and she's there. <laughs> and she's got that kind of meditative look about her, you know. She's kind of watching everything. Some of you here know her already. Eh? What are they responding to, you see? There's some vibration, some subtlety, some energy. It's not necessarily English. I don't know if she understands English. <laughs> eh? She's Portuguese donkey. <laughs> but somehow she's there, hmm. She listening, something. <laughs> so it is already in us, this thing. But conditioning uh, and the belief in conditioning, the attachment to conditioning even, somehow seems to be the greater, the greater force in terms of where our attention go. And while our attention is caught in the feeling of Meanness and what I should do, ness. Uh, this seems missed. This this is the incredible thing that the self is perfect, whole. Mm. I use the word beautiful, peaceful, everlasting. 
timeless. It is all this, and yet somehow we are not able to be. We are not aware of it, and you are it. <laughs> How it can be like that? We heard this. Uh, this is what is the the whole excitement of satsang, is to watch this uh, this cataract of illusory identification being peeled away. Then you see with your true eyes. It is here. It is not some place else. If it was some place else, I'll try and bring some. I say, okay, right. You deserve. I give you some. No, you are it. It's there. You. <laughs> it's just remembering, I suppose. Mm, no. It's not remembering. Who can remember? I said, in ten minutes, you remember to, to remind me about this. And uh, even this, sometimes you cannot do. It's more, it's nearer than remembering. Even the idea that you forget yourself is not true. Remembering and forgetting are concepts appearing in the mind, in the consciousness. You know you are. This I amness is also self. But you add other things onto it. Leave these things and stay only as that f sense I am. That's great beginning. Finish with you. <laughs> I'm still not finished. I feel you came here for something and you're going back without it. Okay. Don't be polite. I I feel I just want to be the self that's I feel my suffering stop right there this I just want to be the self okay drop it now just for a moment drop this idea okay and drop for one moment drop every other kind of idea about what you want to do with your life and Every sort of self-image, what you take yourself to be, or anything to do with what is contained in the past, or what you like, just leave all of this for a moment, just for one moment, if you can spare it. Don't hold on to anything at all. And don't hold on to any expectations at all about even this moment. For one moment, you don't touch anything at all. It's there. Yes. There where? <laughs> Who are you? There's just nothing. And it's really nice. <laughs> Is there somebody enjoying it? It just is. It's space. Yeah. Can it can it wear out? Like maybe after a day or two? It's just present. It is. <laughs> and now you can go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no.